So in the previous video in creating our spinner, we went through the uh, bearing and the bearing hub is which we completed right at the end right there. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna move on to the default spinner itself. And just to go about how we're gonna make this symmetrical, we're gonna start with a sketch on the uh, top plane here. And we need to have that initial hole for our bearing to go into. And seeing that our bearing is 22 millimeters, we're gonna have that as 22 millimeters as well. Now I'm gonna click on my line tool here and I'm gonna click here, which is turning that line into a construction line. And what I want for this is, my center of my first circle is 25 millimeters away. And we can see that's my construction line. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the end of that line and I'm gonna draw a 20 millimeter circle. So that represents, as we can see, the inside hole. The outside hole at that same point, that same center point, I'm gonna make 30 millimeters. Now I need to pattern this around. And the way I can do it is I can come up here to my circular pattern. What do I want to pattern? Well, I want to pattern those two lines. And what we can see is it'll equally spread those out throughout. Uh, so I'm going to left click on my mouse, which will lay down that circular pattern. But if you notice, if I grab the center point of this circle, it still moves. So I'm going to come up to my uh, constrain button and I'm going to uh, do a co coincident constraint from the center point of this pattern to the center point of my drawing, which we can now see locks those into place. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come up to my arc tool and I need to close this drawing out. And I'm going to make an arc here. And if I look at the schematic, it's a 12 millimeter arc. Now, in order to put that in the right spot, I'm going to use a tangent constraint. So I'm going to come over here and refine my tangent constraint. And I'm going to make this circle tangent to this circle and this circle tangent to that circle. And we can see that it's constrained. I can come back here to my circular pattern. I can click on that line and then I can uh, left click my mouse. And you can see I patterned that. Now, again, if I'm going to make changes, I can tangent constraint these here as well uh, to lock those into place. But now I'm simply going to come back and do my extrusion. And looking at the schematic, I'm going to extrude this seven millimeters. We can see now we have that uh, taking shape. Now I'm going to come up to my fillet tool and they have us fillet. Oh, I should be able to, the outside's one millimeter and the insides of the exterior circles one millimeter as well. So we can see now we've created that body. I can come over here. I'm gonna rename this part spinner. I can right click on it as well and edit the appearance of this. And again, I can make this any color that I'd like. Now again, the goal of this is not to recreate the product that they already have, but to make your own symmetrical drawing or spinner to increase sales. But this is a good spot to learn on how to make something symmetrical. In the next video, we'll talk about how to assemble and animate.